I've done it. I've finally done it. With this crazy, cool, insane combo, I'm sure to actually stand out in the next WCQ or YCS. I don't, I don't know things. Utopia Double. Who would have thought? Man, I really got to keep my idea a secret so no one steals it at the next event. And then last but not least are the Utopia cards. Uh, so this card you just two fours, you put this um, detached material, so it's a quick effect so you can play around Ash. What the? Number 39 Utopia is the ace boss monster of Yuma Tsukumo, the main protagonist of Yu-Gi-Oh's Exile. Heralded as arguably the worst protagonist of all series of Yu-Gi-Oh, Utopia stands out for being a relatively decent card during the inception of Xyz summoning and has maintained relevance through different incarnations over the years. Now, I didn't watch Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel past the first 10 or so episodes, but from what I saw, Utopia was a formidable card whose battle-stopping effect gave the perfect plot armor for the unskilled duelist who wielded him. Looking over to the real-life card game, it is quite the opposite scenario, where those who are the most skilled are the ones who are able to most effectively use the Utopia double engine in practice. Requiring just one main deck card and two or three extra deck cards, this engine is so minimal, some may not even consider it one, and they may say it's more of a tech option if anything. Well, I'm not a tech review channel, so it's an engine today, in this week's episode of Engine Evaluation, Utopia Double. Hey guys, before we get on to the actual evaluation of this engine, I just wanted to take a quick second and let you know that in the description below, you're going to see links to TCG Player where you can purchase all of the cards that make up this engine. If I helped you out at all by showing you what this engine is and you decide to pick up the engine, do me a favor and help me out by using those links below in order to get the cards. Thank you so much, this is JC Theater Yu-Gi-Oh! Now on to the evaluation. The first component of this engine, and also the only card in the main deck, is the one copy of Double or Nothing. This quick play spell card has the effect of when a monster's attack is negated, that monster can make a second attack, and its attack is doubled during that second attack's damage step. This card helps push for game, and when used in this engine, your final play can get you to ridiculous attack levels. This is a one of because you never want to draw this little slot machine. You only want to search it with number 39 Utopia Double. This guy is a retrain of the original Utopia with the same type, attribute, attack, defense, and Xyz materials needed to summon as the original Utopia. Utopia Double has a quick effect in which you can detach an Xyz material to add one double or nothing from your deck to your hand, and if you do that, you can overlay a Utopia monster from your extra deck onto him, transferring himself and his materials to that new Utopia monster. That monster's attack is doubled, at the cost of it being unable to attack directly. The biggest fluke in this card's design is the fact that in order for it to use its effect, you must have the double or nothing in your deck to search. Due to this, the Utopia double play is best utilized as a quick finisher as early in the game as possible before you accidentally draw that double or nothing. Number 39 Utopia is the final piece of this minimalistic engine. When using Utopia double's effect to bring this guy out, he grows from 2500 to 5000 attack. The next step in utilizing him is when you attack, you can use his effect to detach an Xyz material from him in order to negate his own attack. Why would you do this? Because you can then use the double or nothing in your hand that was searched by Utopia Double in order to have your Utopia single grow to an enormous 10,000 attack. All you need is for your opponent to have a monster with 2,000 or less attack and that's game. A fittingly simple conclusion to a simple engine. An honorable mention slash interesting thing to note is you can summon any Utopia monster with this effect. This allows for some interesting niche interactions and lets you bring out Utopia monsters who usually require some setup in order to bring out. 
Some top picks, in my opinion, other than the OG Utopia, are Utopia the Lightning, which I actually recommend including in your deck if you have the space, just in case you draw the double or nothing, and Utopia Kaiser, which you can get in the upcoming Battles of Legends set releasing soon. The decks that can best utilize this engine are those that can effectively get at least two level 4 monsters out on the field in order to get out the Utopia double to get that ball rolling. With the advent of dangers, specifically Chupacabra and Mothman, level 4s are easier to bring out now more than ever. The classics such as Photon Thrasher or Goblinburg are also solid picks, but ultimately, any archetype with at least a little bit of swarming capability and level 4s in their arsenal should be able to get this out at least somewhat consistently. In conclusion, I think the creation of Utopia Double was an interesting move by Konami, and I think it just adds another layer of power and strength to the rank 4 toolbox style decks. With the advent of Link Summoning, Slower decks who used to rely on rank 4 spam haven't been able to make their boards as impressive as they have been in the past. With this, now all they have to do is make a big ol' monster and attack for game. With the drawback of one single brick in the deck for the potential gain of having a 10,000 attack monster, I'd say the trade-off is definitely fair. Use this in your deck and attack for game and you'll have your opponent seeing double out of pure frustration. I'm JC Theater Yu-Gi-Oh, and this has been another episode of Engine Evaluation. See ya!